What's up graphic designers? It's been a while since we've had class, so welcome back. I'm thrilled you're here. We're going to continue this project in which we're going to be applying blending modes to create an advertisement for a toy of your choice. Um, once you produce and finalize um, this advertisement today, you can actually start on another project um, or another advertisement for a product of your choice. So let's take a look at a few of your submissions. And we're going to start with fifth period. Nostalgic collectibles. And uh, we know that we're going to be applying blending modes. And here we've got a great example. So Maxwell originally had uh, a lot of different color Legos in the background. But um, it was difficult to see the Legos uh, action heroes. So we created contrast using like a, a purple um, paint bucket solid. And then applied the overlay blending mode. Here we've got a cool one from Jared. That's a great start. Um, I'm assuming this is Paloma Sanic, Sanic Fast. Uh, that's interesting. I want to see more examples of blending modes, but I like the idea behind it. Uh, Jackson, this is a good start. Andrew, I love Call of Duty. World War II is great. I want to see more examples of blending modes like we have here with Ian. Well done. Create your potato. That's a nice start. Uh, thank you, Momo, for introducing me to Webkins. This is this is pretty nifty. Addy. Um, Elmo on a military base, compelling. Luca, um, I see we've got some blending modes over here. You can use the blank that I give you. And Julian, this is outstanding. This is like professional quality. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Pokemon, but all of a sudden I'm pretty keen on the Legends of the Ruins. That's cool. As is this Malcolm. Um, this is awesome. I really like the way you're blending these layers. Um, and this is also pretty amazing. I can see evidence of the multiply blending mode on the right side. Uh, we've got a few different blending modes going on on the left. Well done, guys. Let's take a look at on period eight. Olivia, you're advertising an American Girl doll, and yet this is the eeriest, scariest visual I've seen maybe in years. Uh, but but it's good. It's a good start. I like the blending mode. Also scary. <laughs> Uh, Joey, good start with the blending mode. I see you got um, some South Park characters uh, scattered around. We've got a good start. Good start. Dasha, great start. Uh, Natasha, this is cool. Uh, I like this, Lewis. You're going to want to maybe um, make these transformers a little bit bigger, but I like what you're doing. Eli, good start. All right, this is a cool example, Charlie, of blending modes. We're going to continue. Savannah, well done. I really like the combination of Barbies you have in the foreground as well as in the sky. Nice use of blending modes. Uh, Dylan, we're going to use the blending modes. Good start. Aaron, this is cool. I like this. Laura, tremendous. What's in your stomach, she says. Uh, Hamlin, I know this is just a start. You guys are still working. Veronica, this is amazing consider uh downloading a different font from defont.com to infinity and beyond james you're going to experiment with uh, james and ryan my bad you're going to experiment with both blending modes and having images that maybe do not have blending modes to create some contrast uh juliet great start i know what you're doing um aiden this is cool i know you're going to be working today and we're going to wrap up with uh tate's um need for speed mario kart looks like combination fusion hybrid uh, you're gonna keep working you're gonna put it in a public place when you're done let me know if you have any questions Go